in this session we will see how to import and export data in PostgreSQL which is there in the Google Cloud. So we are going to follow through the notepad uh, because uh, uh, most of these topics have already been discussed in terms of, uh, of uh, either the AWS Cloud or, or the Azure. So this is particularly for uh, Google Cloud just in case you have not got the hands-on this is going to be helpful so exporting and importing data into cloud sql uh, this can be done using the pg dump and uh, pg restore so uh, either you use pg dump or pg dump all that depends upon the scenario but for for uh, a speed purpose for the purpose of the uh, for the purpose wherein database size is large just make sure that you use the uh, the uh, parallelism which is available so uh, just keep a note that if you are migrating an entire database from a supported database server which is on premises or if it is on uh, aws cloud or it is uh, from the uh, google uh, cloud sql and if you are trying to go to a newer uh, version of uh, postgresql or if you are going to the uh, create a new uh, a version of postgre in cloud sql then uh, because of the uh, facility which is available in database migration service then what you can do is just instead of doing uh, the export and import you can use the database migration service which is available and uh, you can take the advantage of that if you are exporting because you wanted to create a new instance in cloud sql you already have some instance then what you can do is you uh, you should restore it from the backup so restoration from the backup which is uh, for an already available instance of lower in size let's say the capacity of the instance is lower just take a backup then you can uh, uh, use the uh, uh, facility wherein you can uh, restore the backup to a newer instance that we will see how to do that when you perform the export in uh, in PostgreSQL it it takes the considerable amount of uh, database uh, resources uh, database resources means the underlying uh, uh, capacity of your uh, of your instance in terms of the cpu and the memory but uh, normally it is not going to interfere with your uh, uh, postgresql instance which is running unless or until your postgre instance is under provision that means it is not having the sufficient uh, uh, cpu and the ram just to cater the need of uh, the export and in uh, in uh, other scenario the import as well so you can export data from an uh, on-premises PostgreSQL using the PDUM. And uh, if you have to export a data which is not managed by Cloud SQL, then you can import it into the uh, Cloud SQL, right? So you can use the PG dump uh, hyphen you. You can mention the username. Let's say this is on-premises, then it will be your Postgre admin user. If you wanted to perform a plan backup, just say uh, format equal to uh, plain. Just don't mention the any owner because that is something which you can change uh, later on. And this is no ACL. Then you can write the database name. Let's say my uh, demo database is DVD rental. I can mention it over here. Then as SED uh, you can use. What it is going to do is uh, if you have any uh, extension related uh, stuff mentioned. So it is going to uh, take out those. And uh, a text format of the uh, SQL file will be, uh, be created. This you can use to... Uh, to restore in your database just in case your database size is larger and you wanted to perform the customized uh, uh, backup in that case instead of format equal to plain you can mention format equal to uh, to custom and uh, i like the way uh, the uh, postgre export and import commands are there in the cloud which clearly mentions do not use the no honor uh, so that it will be easier in case you wanted to change the ownership when you go to cloud So this is plain format. This is uh, custom format When you are going to perform the the restore which is there from an intermediate system in Google Cloud on a virtual machine uh, you transfer your uh, uh, backup over there uh, 
and then you perform pg underscore restore or in case you have the connectivity from your on premises system you can just fire this pg underscore restore hyphen h this is the name of your cloud instance hyphen u the admin user who has the privilege no honor that ownership you can change for the objects which you are uh, restoring the uh, uh, the mainly the tables and then you mention hyphen d the database name and uh, uh, then the uh, sql file which is created in the above command one thing l uh, also you can do is uh, while you are restoring using the pg underscore restore and uh, you mention the uh, dump name uh, this is the name of the dump which you have taken using the pg underscore dump you can using the restore command also uh, there you can uh, uh, remove uh, importing the extension so imp when you when there are extension and by default there will be several extensions available in your uh, uh, postgre environment and uh, if you wanted to remove them during the backup and during the restoration also you have both the uh, facilities available so it is going to take out uh, those uh, those create uh, extension steps that, that you can do later as well once your import is successful what are the issues uh, these are the known issues with the importing and exporting of the data uh, in the managed instances if the if uh, you are exporting the large objects large objects in the sense uh, and um, in case of uh, postgresql we say uh, the database size if it is closer to 100 gb we say it is a large uh, size database that doesn't mean that postgresql is not having the proper uh, uh, storage capacity or it is it is not able to handle it is able to handle the petabytes of uh, uh, database uh, if you are going to data warehousing solution something like uh, redshift we are not going to talk about that it is just like uh, wanted to say that uh, 100 gigs it's it's a big uh, big uh, or large size database so when you are taking an export your instance may become unresponsive it is because of the uh, the way it has been designed and uh, if you have the blobs uh, that means the large objects even if there is no if it is empty also in that case also your instance will look like hang this is the behavior which it is so uh, you may find it unresponsive that doesn't mean that your instance is unresponsive it is just that uh, you have to be cautious when you are uh, exporting or importing the large size object in your postgresql it will be unresponsive for some time and if you are trying to import the uh, big size databases then you have to make sure that you uh, you uh, split it into smaller uh, size just in case you wanted to transfer it to the google cloud or any other clouds as well there is a limitation that say it is five terabyte in that case when you are taking the export you make sure that you split into smaller size so that uh, uh, you don't face any problem when you put it into the google cloud bucket and then the, the, uh, the next one is the transaction log and the disk growth. Uh, uh, so when we talk about the transaction logs, which is wall, and when we talk about the backups, we uh, in, in normal scenario in, in PostgreSQL in managed instance in Google Cloud, we say that uh, the log retention should be equal to the number of backups. So if I say uh, uh, log retention period is seven day and backup retention is seven day, then the uh, retention period of, uh, of uh, logs, which is your wall logs, it, it, hap it executes every day. But when you talk about the backups, it is otherwise. It, it is on the number of backups which it has executed. So you cannot uh, change or uh, the uh, the scheduled backup we are not talking about the uh, on demand backup the scheduled backup in case you have to take uh, the export or you have to offload the export operation from the 
primary instance what you can do is you can take the serverless export so serverless uh, exports are non provisioned one wherein you do not have to provision the uh, the capacity the memory and the uh, 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 power in terms of the CPU it is something which will be automatically calculated when the export X uh, operation starts and based upon the requirement it is going to expand and once your uh, export activity is completed it is going to shrink down and then finally once it is done it is going to go away so you should try in case you are trying to do uh, you are trying to take an export backup you can you can use the uh, serverless feature and one other important thing is you have to use the correct flags when you try to create a, a SQL file there's something like if you are not using it and then you are trying to import into the Google Cloud for PostgreSQL it may be possible that it may error out uh, making you uh, in a suspicion that whether it is successful or failure say for example the rules if the rules are not existing it is it is going to error out in that case you should make sure that uh, uh, you create the rules in advance then only you uh, you fire the import activity and if your database size is large it is always advisable that uh, uh, cloud sql already is supporting the import and export using both the compressed and uncompressed uh, files but if you are using the compressed one then you are going to save some storage in the cloud as well and when you are importing also uh, since it has the feature so it is going to decompress automatically when you are firing the import what about uh, the wrong running import and export processes so when you are uh, running the export or import in cloud sql uh, and let's say if i'm talking about the uh, import facility which is going to take a long time to complete say for an example if it is database size is very very large then in that case there are uh, several things which 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 can happen in the uh, postgresql so uh, you cannot stop a, uh, a long running uh, uh, cloud SQL instance operation it is not possible for you so what you can do is uh, you can perform one import or export operation at a time for each SQL instance which you are managing and uh, you can decrease the amount of time it takes to complete uh, each operation by using the cloud sql export or uh, import of, uh, functionality with the smaller batch of the data and uh, for export you can use the serverless export and there are some troubleshooting steps which you can uh, follow if your import operation is to taking too long and these are something which has been observed many times uh, you just check out the uh, active connections uh, which are available in in your uh, in your PostgreSQL instance you try to close them as much as possible and some of those unused operations uh, unused uh, um, what do you say the connections they also should be uh, uh, be uh, closed because once you do that your import is going to be the uh, faster in case you uh, you have some downtime also available uh, you recycle your instance so that all the uh, existing or the one which are not required they will be gone gone away and when you start the import it is going to be very very fast so this really helps this really helps okay and uh, other thing about the import is it can fail uh, if uh, it is uh, finding some referenced user which is not there in the uh, the uh, dump file and if it is not existing so it's always advisable that uh, when you are uh, importing it make sure that they exist if not then you should use uh, no owner uh, uh, dump and the import so that uh, you don't face any problem with that and uh, csv export also work well uh, and uh, that's the way it, it works and what else uh, if the export is taking uh, too long then uh, just, just some some of the scenario like uh, import is taking too long that means you have to check the resources of your uh, postgresql instance uh, close all the unused 
and not required connections. And this one we have already uh, discussed and uh, if you have already the extensions available while you have taken the export, you try to make sure that uh, you avoid them taking uh, using the SED command which we have uh, uh, seen so that it doesn't put it into the uh, the SQL dump and while you are importing also it is not going to use them. You can create them uh, later because the um, extension in PostgreSQL they will they are preloaded and you just have to give a reference uh, in uh, PSQL so that it will be uh, aligned with your PostgreSQL instance. And uh, if you are having the error while you are using the PG dump uh, all uh, the the tool requires the super user role and the super user role is not supported in cloud sql for postgresql the postgresql role in uh, managed instance in google cloud is entirely different from your your postgre role which is available in your uh, on premises or infrastructure as a service so this is just the basic like uh, if, if it is taking too long, if it is unresponsive, these are the non, non stuff. If you have the extensions created while you are taking the backup or while you are taking the import, you make sure that uh, you do not import it uh, to avoid any kind of error and the confusion. I hope uh, this is going to help and uh, thank you.